get to is a delightfully tea-filled story. Ooh, this tea Ooh. has milk and sugar uh -uh. because it's someone who kind of deserves it. It's Bethany Stalking Horror. <laughs> oh, Bethany, you were, you've been a horrible bitch for the last time. No, wait a minute, that's just your personality. Uh -huh. um, apparently, now I love hate Bethany, okay? I love hate Bethany. Here's things that I love about Bethany. Uh, I love when she had her radio show uh, with on Radio Andy, mm -hmm. and I love that she was fired from that show because she threw a drink on the wife of the owner of Clear Channel because she thought she was such hot shit. Mm -hmm. And the wife went home and said, darling, don't you <laughs> own that serious radio? <laughs> Bethany's got to go. Um, I love Bethany on The Housewives because she's such a fucking hot mess and she's up in everybody's fucking business, but she's a total hypocrite. Mm -hmm. And she spent last year being so angry at Sonia Morgan for calling her wine skinny slut or whatever the hell she was going to call it. And that, But we all ignored, and let me tell you how many times I've almost thought about calling in to watch what happens live to tell this to Bethany. <laughs> Bethany was was so angry that what was that wine called skinny no it was drunk um it was skinny i thought it was skinny chardonnay or something no, but what was the, what was Sonia's company called? No, Sonia's Tipsy company. Girl. Tipsy Girl. Girl. Right. Girl. Bethany was girl. so angry. Was she was girl. so angry at Sonia for calling her wine Tipsy Girl. Yeah. But we all all just glossed over a drunk, drug addict John, what's her name's husband, exactly. saying, sure well, you stole the name Skinny Girl from Skinny Cow. Yep. And Bethany spent the whole time calling Sonia like a leech brand. Bethany, didn't you just do the same thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nobody mm -hmm. gets mad at Sonia. No, yeah, exactly. Awesome. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, this is not what this story is about, but I just have to get that off I my like chest. That. It's been sitting there for months. <laughs> um, apparently, Bethany, we all know that she had a marriage that was televised with Jason Hoppy, who was a lean, bubble-butted, <laughs> big dick yeah. motherfucker who seemed like a nice person. He had parents who loved him, and Bethany never wanted the parents to come. Why can't we be our own family? Why would we have to be here? She was a horrible, harpy bitch, and we all <laughs> thought Jason was perfect. But, turns out, Jason, girl, mm -hmm. she made him lose his damn mind because he's <laughs> kept this divorce going for four years. Mm -hmm. They finally officially got divorced, but that's not enough for him. Now he's yeah, he's still angry. He's this mad still at her, and he was been recently stalking her, following her to Bren's school, Bethany's daughter's school, where he told her, "I will destroy you, no matter how many lawyers you get." Like he is pulling a stunt. He is throwing a fit right at the kids' school. And Bethany was there with her new bald boyfriend, and she was like, "This is too much. I just I can't. I got got that lawyers." So she uh, now filed a restraint order against Jason. Lady Red, I know you don't love Bethany. What do you think? I think that Bethany is kind of just living her horrible, horrible life. <laughs> and I think it's wonderful. <laughs> I enjoy watching it, and I love Bethany's business acumen. I love that she turned Skinny Girl Margarita into a gigantic super company, but she is insufferable. <clears throat> and uh, the greatest tea was recently on Wendy Williams. Did you see this? No, tell us. Wendy Williams spilled, when she was talking about this story, she spilled the tea that uh, when Bethany came to Wendy Williams, that she acted like a horrible bitch backstage, <gasps> acted like she was hot shit, and called Wendy's show this little show. This little show. And then, um, of course, her show was canceled. And Wendy, mm, <laughs> she was loving it. I could tell when, when that show, her talk show was on, that Wendy Williams would like throw shade so hard. She'd be like, well, I mean, you know, some people do talk shows and they think they can just give talk shows to anyone. I mean, you that aren't even in broadcasting. She would like say things and I'm like, oh, she's clearly, she's talking about Kris Jenner and she's oh, talking yeah. about Bethany. Yeah, yeah. she right? loved, Wendy tell. loves to come for people yeah. who had yeah. talk shows that failed. And she loves to stick the knife in I don't and believe put salt <laughs> and alcohol <laughs> and acid. <Lemon. laughs> I don't believe the story. I mean, I think... I mean, obviously, the restraining order is real, but I think um, she's so cunty. So cunty. And that, t it takes two to have a long, drawn out divorce like yeah. that. It doesn't just take one. And I think, first of all, I don't really think you follow someone to your child's school. Like, you know where the school is and you know what time <laughs> oh, it starts. Right. So if you're going to go, you could just go to the school. So he went to have a confrontation with her because whatever she's doing that we don't know about, because he's probably not even fucking smart enough to, like, save the texts or the emails. Because guys just don't think... Like, girls are insane. 
I can find out someone's life story on fucking fa I don't even have a Facebook. I'd go through Julie's account and find out <laughs> someone's life story in one second. She won't even know how. She's like, how do I? And I'm like, you have Facebook. Right. So it's like, I'm just counting her as like a man. Um, you know. <laughs> um, but I think he's not safe. She's, she, and she has so m many expensive publicists working for her. And she's so, she understands how the whole machine works. And I mean, this is just, a, to me, it's publicity. And I just don't believe it. Like, I don't fucking believe she feels threatened by him. Mm. I just don't, but. She wants she, to, she's out for the kill, right, Kelly? I think so. I think so. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I always kind of had a little crush on him. Yeah. You know? so and I'm like, his ass. Remember on that episode? Yes. It was real good. <laughs> I'm like, if his dick is as big as his nose, he can come stalk me any day. Honey. <laughs> I mean, I won't mind it all. Well, he may be, <laughs> uh, her daughter is very cute, and that's not from the Skeletor genes that Bethany was passing down. <laughs> right? Lady Red. <laughs> Would you be stalking Bethany and pissed? Because I think Bethany probably drove him insane. I don't think she drove him insane. I think what happened was they started this great partnership, and he decided to become his own woman. Mm. So <laughs> that's what happened. And the way they continue to pick at each other is to probably text each other all morning before you drop the child off. Just one day a week, just to piss her the fuck off. Text her, bitch, if you don't get that bitch there on time, <laughs> don't call my daughter a bitch. No, you shut up, you skinny <laughs> bitch. You know, they <laughs> fuck with each other. Yeah. <laughs> then the next thing you know, they get there and they have it out because it's wonderful to let your emotions out in front of people where you could do it and enjoy yourself. Because you gotta remember, <laughs> after you have a good fight, bitch, you go home with a good Jones. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, bitch, I gave that bitch that shit. You know what I'm saying? He's I mean? like, I'm about to pull up. Done. <laughs> I need some attention. Yeah. I'll destroy you, Ben. <laughs> yeah, watch her run. Watch her run. All the other mothers are like, yeah, get her. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck, Bethany. We love, hate you. Um,